Hey, guess what? There's a new release of Visual Studio Code out right now. Let's go check out some of the features in it. This iteration, the team had a strong focus on grooming issues and they greatly succeeded at that task. They addressed about 4,000 issues that were triaged or closed over that time. To get a better visualization of how these are trending over time, check out Benjamin Lannan's issue tracker site that he built to graph out this data. Through TypeScript feature functionality, VS Code can intelligently offer to convert a function to use async await syntax for you. Bring your cursor to the function name, which is using promises, and press the keyboard shortcut control period to bring up code actions. Select convert to async function and your code will be updated to use async await syntax. Ever name something poorly? Naming is said to be one of the hardest things in programming. In cases where you need to fix your naming of imports, VS Code has you covered. Adjust the name of the import that you're using and VS Code will automatically rename the file for you based on your adjustment. Do you tend to forget function or variable names you want to reference? Well, VS Code can help remind you through a feature called tab completions. Turn this option on through your settings and you can cycle through various code completions available within the context of your code. In the past, you may have seen or heard about changing the title bar on Windows from default to custom. This results in the difference you see here before and after making that setting change. VS Code will now default to the custom style for a nice, rich UI experience moving forward. In addition to this change, you'll now see file icons based on well-known file types within your file explorer for both Windows and Mac. Ooh. And that does it for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to share it with your friends and coworkers. I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.